How dare you? Who you? Ah, para sabihan mo ako ng ganun. Yesterday, before we proceed with the continuation of uh, the remaining resource persons, uh, marami tayong pinatawag ng mga opisyalis ng gobyerno uh, para magbigay linaw doon sa mga uh, nangyari mga testimonies ka kahapon. And uh, ang iba dumating, baka yung iba uh, magsidatingan pa. They are still uh, uh, on their way to, this, uh, uh, to the Senate. And uh, first, I would like to uh, give the floor to Attorney Rinan Augustus Oliva. Uh, for your information, uh, Attorney, uh, nabanggit yung pangalan mo kahapon dahil nga accordingly, nag-grade kayo ng uh, illegal na isabong. Despite the fact that isabong was already ordered by the President to stop nationwide, Nagpatuloy pa rin dyan sa uh, Negros Oriental at sa buong uh, Region 7. So, nagkaroon daw kayo ng sagutan or whatever. Basta please uh, enlighten this uh, committee on what transpired during your raid on those uh, illegal uh, isabong operations. You have the floor, uh, Attorney. Please uh, introduce yourself first before you proceed to your... Uh, Ay, ah, ah, sorry. Ah, lahat ng ah, mga bagong dumating na mga resource persons, please stand up so that ah, you can take your oath. Kung sick, please administer the oath. Thank you, sir. Kindly raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this investigation? Thank you, sir. Please take your seats. Thank you. You have the floor now, uh, Attorney Oliva. Good morning, Your Honor. Uh, I am Attorney Renan Oliva, the current Regional Director of the National Bureau of Investigation based in Cebu City. May, with your permission, Your Honor, can I read the chronology, chronology of events which I prepared in line with our operation last September 16, 2022, wherein we implemented a search warrant for violation of the ESA bond. This, uh, this search warrant was issued by the Honorable Grace Veloso Fernandez of the Regional Trial Court, Branch 19, Cebu City. This was implemented against a minic and Kalahuan cockpit located at Barangay Kalahuan, Menglanilla, Cebu for violation of PD-1602 in relation to RA-10175, which is the cybercrime law. As a result of our successful operation, we arrested the operators of said cockpit, namely Sergio Santos Lo, alias Dong Dong Ong, and Carlos Oy Gotong III, alias June Gotong, as well as 37 other employees who was caught in the act of doing a live streaming of an actual isabong operation under the website goperia.net. The service of the search warrant was witnessed by the sister-in-law of subject Carlos Gotong III, who is attorney Pauline Gotong, as well as the barangay captain and barangay officials of Barangay Kalahuan, Minglanilla, Cebu. On September 19, 2022, all the arrested persons were brought to the Cebu Provincial Police Office, Pro Provincial Prosecutor's Office, I'm sorry, for inquest proceedings for violation of the PD-1602 in relation to 10175. They were represented this time by at least five lawyers. Three lawyers were Dumagate-based lawyers and two lawyers were based in Cebu. After the inquest, the Provincial Prosecutor of Cebu filed the case before the RTC of Naga City, Cebu, who has jurisdiction of the case. The case was raffled to Branch 76, the Regional Trial Court of Naga, Cebu, presided by Judge Dennis 
the rubies. After we returned the search warrant before the issuing court together with the seized items composed of video para streaming paraphernalia computers as well as cash amounting to approximately 2.6 million pesos. On the same day of April 19, 2022, I received a call from a colleague in the person of then Assistant Regional Director Noel Bukaling of NBI Pampanga and asked me that Congressman Arnuto Tebes wanted to talk to me. I asked him what was that about. He told me it was about the operation that we conducted against the Isabong. I told uh, A.R.D. Bukaling that uh, the case is already filed in court. In fact, the, the suspects were already um, represented by their lawyers. But he insisted that uh, he told me na akosapan mo, uh, i-meet mo lang si congressman because um, magandang okay na tao yan. So, on September 20 at around 3.41 p.m., congressman Arturno Tevez together with a certain Mr. Tomasino Cabase Allegro alias Tokoy and their entourage arrived at the NBI office. The opening statement of Congressman Tebes to me was that he was not connected to Isabong activities and that he had already delegated that to his friends. He then proceeded to ask me who authorized the operation, which I told him it was our director in line with the order of our president to stop all Il Isabong activities. I told him frankly that the said area, the said cockpit which we raided was not even registered under the PAGCOR. Those uh, in cockpits that were registered in, with PAGCOR even stopped their operation heeding to the order of the presidents as as i remember it is it has been two presidents already uh, president uh, roa duterte and president marcos who ordered the stop of this isabong i was then surprised of his re response to me which he told me that he will sue my, me, my men for stealing 7 million pesos at the cockpit. He continued to say that he will spare me from the case if I make it negative of any incoming operations against Isabung. I just laughed because I told him, you cannot, you cannot tell me to betray my oath as a law enforcement officer. You just follow the rules, you follow the order of the president, you follow the requirements, you, fo you just follow it. And I've, I told him frankly, if you want to file the case, you file the case against me, uh, I will answer it because it is not true. I am not afraid. After the visit of Congressman Tebes, I immediately informed the director of what happened, who instructed me to in intensify the Isabong operations in my area. With this, I coordinated with my counterparts with the PNP Region 7 in the application of search warrant and true enough, they were able also to rape, rape uh, another Isabong facility uh, in our area. However, on October 25, the information that the Cebu Provincial Prosecutor's Office filed was squashed by the Honorable Judge Dennis Larobis on the grounds that the acts charged in the information does not fall within the acts prescribed under PD 16 in relation to RA 10175. On September 3, we filed a motion for reconsideration before the Honorable Court, arguing that the cases we filed originated from a search was warrant issued by another court 
for the same violation as well as the inquest proceedings conducted by the provincial Cebu Provincial Prosecutor's Office who sustained our recommendation. However, on November 9, 2022, the court denied our motion for citing that we violated the five-day continuous rule when we filed the case on the sixth day. However, on January 5, 2023, we filed the case again before the Provincial Prosecutor's Office of Cebu for violation of PD-1602 in relation to 1175, PD-449, CAC fighting law in relation to 1175, in relation to Article 8 of RPC, conspiracy in the commission of the crime. After our refiling on February 28, 2023, five months after we raided the Isabong operation in Minglanilia, a case was filed against me and my men before the office of the Ombudsman for Visayas for irregularity in the service of search warrant and for fabricated a story that we stole 9 million cash nitakop na from 7 million na himo ng 9 million days before the filing of the harassment suit a video was spread in social media showing showing spliced portions of the CTV footage during the operation they intentionally omitted the inventory corrected conducted by my arresting officers in the presence of their lawyer as well as the barangay captain and officials of the barangay Kalahuan in Minglanilia, Cebu. After the filing of the harassment case, we filed a press release stating that the National Bureau of Investigation takes exception to the published reports on the alleged abuse in, in the search service of search warrant, robbery and grace grave misconduct by the NBI regional director and operatives. We believe that this issue is related to the refiling of cases by our office against the illegal Isabong operators and staff of the anemic and Kalahuan who continue to defy the order of no less than two presidents to stop illegal Isabong activities. The same individuals are facing similar charges filed by other by our counterpart, the PNP. To date, no copy of the formal complaint has been received in relation to the allegations being broadcasted against us. Nonetheless, once furnished with the same, the NBI will answer the allegations in accordance with the legal procedure in the proper forum. Rest assured, the NBI will continue to resolutely perform its mandate in providing quality investigative services to the public. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Attorney Oliva, and thank you for your totoong paninerbisyo at hindi nagpapatakot. Yeah, you want to say something? Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. I have screenshots of the CCTV footage showing the good congressman and his entourage coming to our office. May mga kuwan na, sir. Anong, anong, anong nga, ulitin mo nga yung sinabi niya sa'yo? Yung Pagpasok mga niya? screenshots, sir, ng mga CCTV footage yeah, namin. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yes. But uh, yung mga, the, the exact words that uh, he said uh, during your conversation. Hindi Kaya kita ulit. isasama sa kaso ng mga tao mo pag in-negative mo ang mga order sa'yo na mag-operate ng isabong operation. Alam mo, kung ako sinabihan nun, sagutin ko rin siya, how dare you? Who you? Ha? Para sabihan mo ako ng ganun. That's very bad. Akala ko, polis lang ang kaya niya takot-takotin doon, pati NBI pala. Sinasabihan ng ganun. Tagot ako sir na sabihin You can never let me betray My oath as a law enforcement officer Sa mga takot mo I-file mo yung kaso 
sagutin namin yan at makag-counter charge kami. So, ano nga yun, pagkibigyan mo ko ng chronology of events, pag-start doon yung sabi mong nakwas yung Yes, ano yung nakwas, yung warrant ninyo? Yung information, sir, na final ng Cebu Provincial uh, Prosecutor's Office. Nakwas na? Ng judge, sir. Judge, judge. Dennis Larubis. Ang rason niya, yung acts charge in the information does not fall within the acts punishable under PD 1602 in relation to RA 10175. Hindi nakalimutan niya na merong search warrant yun issued by a valid court in Cebu City. Tapos, yung inquest namin ng Provincial Prosecutor's Office na sustain for the violation that we charge. So, paano yan? Hirap, hirap nun. Uh, sustain yung inquest uh, na, yung inquest proceedings na ginawa nyo, sustain. Tapos, yes. pagdating sa judge, nakwas yung information. Wala daw crime. Walang crime. Yes, sir. Sinong judge yun? Judge Dennis Larubi, sir. Branch 76 of RTC, Naga Cebu. Anyway, mahirap mag-prejudge uh, habang uh, hindi natin na, na, narinig yung side niya. We still respect uh, the judiciary. Pero, per my experience, I'm not referring to this particular case. Retired police tayo. Alam natin yan, di ba? Yes, sir. Yes. Kapag, uh, ganitong takbo ng sindikato eh. Kapag hindi ko maariglo ang complainant, ariglohin ko yung polis na nag-imbestiga ng kaso. Pag umayaw yung polis, ayaw magpariglo, okay lang. Matigas ka ng polis, hindi kita mariglo. Next na lalapitan ng sindikato, yung piskalya. Yung prosecutor, handling the case. Mariglohin yung prosecutor. Kapag hindi nariglo ang prosecutor, ah, matigas ka na piskal. Ayaw ko pagbigyan. O, sige lang, tingnan natin. Buhusan ko na malaking pera itong judge na may hawak nitong kaso na ito. Uh, Arigluhin ko ito. I am not, uh, I am not uh, specifying any particular judge, any particular uh, piskal, any particular uh, policeman, investigator. But it is really happening in the Philippines. Kaya, yan po ang napakasaklab na katotohanan. Ikaw, na NBI, you are doing your job diligently. Pagdapos, pag dismiss ang kaso, walang ibang sisihin. Sabihin ka agad ng fiscal. Uh, failure ng handling of uh, evidence. Yung failure sa uh, uh, yung uh, chain of custody of evidence. Yung mga technicality ka agad yan. Lahat tayo, ang law enforcement palagi, whipping boy. And hindi alam na taong bayan yan na ito criminal system ng Pilipinas is composed of five pillars. Isa lang dyan yung law enforcement. Yung police at NBI nandyan sa law enforcement. After law enforcement, nandyan na prosecution. Sunod, nandyan yung nandyan yung courts. After that, nandyan yung rehabilitation, yung bucol, and afterwards yung community. Yung buong community na. Pero, kapag hindi nag-progress ang kaso, walang palaging sisisihin, kundi ang law enforcement, ang police, o NBI, hindi na alam na nariglo pala yung fiscal. Hindi yan sasabihin na nariglo pala, nariglo pala yung judge. Ang palagi sinasabi, nariglo ang police, nariglo ang NBI. So, yun po ang sama ng loob natin. Pareho tayo ng frustration sa sistema. Itong ating criminal justice system. Uh, napakahirap. We are the whipping boy palagi sa ating uh, buong sistema. Lalong-lalo na mayroong mga powerful, mga mayayaman, na politiko, na nagpapalit na sa likuran. Yun, taka ka na lang, na-dismiss ang kaso. Ikaw pa ngayon ang kinakounter charge. Pinayala ka ng kaso. Where is justice in this world? Nagtatrabaho ka lang. Ikaw pang hindi ipapromote ngayon dahil may pending case ka. At ang nag-file sa iyo, hindi basta-basta, isang matigas, isang isang astig na congressman. Hindi ka talaga mapapromote yan. Ang hirap ng buhay natin. Napakahirap. Kaya ngayon, si Dador na ako, 
Hanapan natin ang paraan yan. Magtutulungan tayo na mabago yung sistema na yan para yung culture of impunity, yung reign of terror na nangyayari sa isang lugar na hinahawakan ng politiko na walang pakundangan na gumawa ng violence, ay mahinto natin yan. Huwag natin pabayaan. Kaya pinatawag kita dito para maklaro natin ito. An added by Rio, your courage, hindi ka nagpapadala. Hindi ka nagpapadala. Sipin mo, puntahan ka sa opisina mo ng isang kongresman, sabihan ka ng ganun, I don't know kung kaya akong sabihan ng ganun. Eh, kung, ako, kung ako yung pulis. Atempo mo palang magsabi. At, tapos ka na sa akin. 